Well, from a Hall of Fame goaltender to a new goaltending competition here at the NHL Skills. It's the Tendi Tantum, but we will see one goaltender from each division shooting the length of the ice at a net target, and the other will try and stop their opponents and <laughs> so you and I have been fumbling around yeah, this one this... the whole time so so the one goaltender that shoots down the ice is trying to get in the hole and if he does it'll be a three on oh if he hits the target at all it'll be a two on oh if he misses it'll be a one on oh and the other goaltender has to try to make the stops on the other side and the shooters are those US and Canadian Olympians let's introduce the competitors it's time for the Discover NHL 10D Tandem. Let's meet your all-star goalies. For the Central Division, from the Nashville Predators, you see Soros. And from the Winnipeg Jets, Connor Hellebuck. For the Pacific Division, from the Edmonton Oilers, Stuart Skinner. And from the Vegas Golden Knights, Logan Thompson. For the Metropolitan Division, from the New York Islanders, Ilya Sorokin. And from the New York Rangers, Igor Shesterkin. From the Atlantic Division, from the Boston Bruins, Linus Olmar. And from the Tampa Bay Lightning, Andre Vasilevsky. All right, we got Kale McCarr here. Who, who do you like for the, the Tendi tandem here? You, first of all, to give you an understand the event. Uh, well, I know it's got something to do with rimming pucks and then shooting it down the ice. I saw Shesterkin uh, at the um, whatever the dunk tank contest, yeah. so and he was ripping them, so. I think I got him. I got my money on him on this one, but so yeah. Okay, I can tell you the hockey world was holding its collective breath when you circled and went down. Is everything okay? Oh yeah, no, all good. I mean, it's pretty slow fall. You get, unfortunately, you get those speed levels sometimes. Just happen to happen at that moment, but uh, I mean, it's a little bit embarrassing. But I guess you just gotta embrace it. It's hoping it never happen again. But uh, it was. It is just fun to be here with these guys. Finally, how much fun is this for you with teammates, with friends, and meeting new guys? Who's the best NHLer you've met so far this weekend? Uh, I mean, that's a loaded question. It's obviously great to be here with, obviously, Nate Miko, and then you no know, Nas from last year as well. And then, obviously, uh, see you guys again, like Crosby and McDavid. I'm always good to talk to them and catch up with the guys. And I mean, there's so many cool guys here, so I uh, can't really narrow it down for sure. Kale, thanks so much. Awesome, thanks. Chris. And so many cool women as well as they introduce the shooters. Rebecca Johnston, Sarah Nurse, Hillary Knight, Alex Carpenter, and Emily Clark will be shooting against the goaltenders in the 10D tandem. Yeah, so they'll be challenged. They'll either be going in individually or in pairs, or at times they can be a three on O, so a new challenge. But so many of the goaltenders are so good at shooting the puck, this will be their chance. If they can get it down the ice and get it in the hole, they get three points. One goaltender is going to be the shooter. The other goaltender has got to be the stopper. And it looks like Hellebuck's going to be our first that is going to be the shooter. Or, pardon me, yeah, the shooter. So at the opposite end of the ice is the target. And again, if the shooting goaltender can get the hole, he doesn't win a cash prize, but he gets points. And it looks like Skinner, if I'm reading this, is Skinner from the Pacific is going to be the shooter as he's ready to take the rim. And then it'll be Hellebuck from the central who's got to deal with the shooters coming in on him. 
Not so long ago, he was playing in the ECHL, moved up to the AHL, and Stuart Skinner, as a rookie, is now in the All-Star game and fired the length of the ice. This looked pretty good. Almost went in, but that's two points. Yeah, there's two points for Skinner, so doing his part. Now you got a two on O coming in on Hellebuck. And Hellebuck able to make the stop. So if you're keeping score, it's two points for each goaltender in each division. As Skinner gets the two for hitting the target, and Hellebuck gets the two points for taking the two on O and not allowing a goal. And each of the shooting goaltenders will get five attempts. Kyle showed you in the opening of our show, Igor Shosturkin almost scoring earlier this season in game action. And there's off target. So no points there. And coming in is Rebecca Johnston off the post. Rebecca part of the Calgary Flames development program. I like the shot too. Yeah. Lots of confidence just up and over the arm and shoulder just off the bar and out. Good sound there for Hellebuck. So Skinner by missing doesn't get any points there and Hellebuck by making the save. Three points for the save and now the third shot for Skinner. And this one looks really good. Wow. There's a three pointer. And the stash likes that. Wow, what a week and a half it's been for him. His new baby on board as well. Here's the three on oh, not a lot of speed. And Hillary Knight stopped by Hellebuck. How about this shot? This is just perfect. Right down the heart of the middle. Got to see what the goalie cam that looks like there as he's got that on his mask. Pacific against Central in this first competition. And shooting it in is teammate Connor McDavid. And we go two for two. Off target that time, so no points for Skinner. And a chance for a point here for Hellebuck. McDavid working in, trying to help his goaltender out, and Hellebuck makes the stop. And maybe a little chirp back there is not a lot of speed, but a little cycle to the middle, back to the backhand, and just didn't quite get it up and over that pad. Here's the net care, the helmet cam of what it looks like to accept a breakaway from 97, although not quite as fast as you usually see twice. him in an NHL game. Next shoot in from Calgary Flame representative Nazem Kadri. And the fourth shot for Skinner. And that one's going to be off target. So it'll be Kadri against Hellebuck. And it goes high, and Hellebuck, who is second in the league in wins with 24, gets the job done. You can see it just flipped up a little bit on Kadri there. When he took it to the backhand, the puck flopped up, and so got it a little too high there as Hellebuck tried to get the glove there, didn't need it. How about the Pacific with, for the first time, Chris, two rookie goaltenders in the same division? I mean, what a year it's been for Logan Thompson as well. As you mentioned, Skinner voted in by the fans. A lot of questions about the Vegas Golden Knights that they have the goaltending they would need, and the young rookie has been dynamite. So the Central with eight points, the Pacific with five. And before the next goal titters, let's check in with David. Yeah, Rebecca Johnson came very close to scoring there. It looked like you had an opening there and then got close quickly. Yeah, I saw a little opening, so I tried to shoot there. It was so close, but yeah, it was it was good. It was good. All right, well, we just saw Seth Jones stop as well. What's it like? It's such a, a fun event. What's the best part of this weekend for you? 
I think just being here and interacting with, with all the guys, like everyone's just so professional and um, just amazing athletes. So it's just really cool to be here and just be a part of this weekend. Enjoy it all. Thank you. Chris. So underway with the next round, UC Saros is the shooter now. And you mentioned Logan Thompson, who used to play minor hockey against Stuart Skinner in the Battle of Alberta. Yep. And now they're teammates. See how UC Saros can shoot it. It's like he's off target. Yeah, so he's 0 for 2 and doesn't get a point on either. Thompson with the save last time gets one point and now Jason Robertson in and Thompson with a glove stop. Vladimir Tarasenko is going to be the next one to dump it in, and if Saros can put this one in the hole or hit the net at all, we'll see if it's Kirill Kaprizov with Tarasenko maybe coming in on 2 on 0. See if Saros has got his sight straightened out. Not yet. And so it's Tarasenko. One on one against Thompson. Another point for the Pacific. So another point for the Pacific. And the game in this little matchup is tied at eight. He came in and shot further out than anyone has at this point. Just kind of missed the sights there as Thompson shakes his head. Glad he didn't have to make the save. Next to shoot it in is Kirill Kaprizov. This one looks more promising. There you go. Look at that reaction. <laughs> hey, they're all competitors, right? So we've got a three on O break here and uh, another, another post. Oh, and this one from Emily Clark. Boy, good quick shots for both Justin and Clark. Here's the sorrow shot. As you said, he was starting to feel a little bit. OK, I got to find a way to get one watching it in. Yes. So three points for Saros, but three points on the stop of a three on O, and it's tied at 11. And this will be the last shot for Saros. If he can repeat the feat, well, this has got a chance to. It'll be a couple of points for Saros, and that means two skaters here. It's McCarr and McKinnon moving in, and McKinnon puts it upstairs. So the two points for Saros, and none there for Thompson as he gets a little smile. Talk about Mr. Casual, just flips this one up, just got it up and over the glove of Thompson and underneath the bar. How many times do you think he looks off Kale McCarr when they're in yeah. like that? He just looked at it in good sports, the goaltenders on that one. So 13-11 for the central goaltenders. And next up, the competition will Turn to the Metro against the Atlantic. Yeah, don't you love seeing that two rookie goaltenders with a yep. couple of veterans? I saw earlier on the warm up as both Skinner and Thompson went to Vasilevsky and, and were just bending his ear and standing and talking for the longest time. Well, that's an indication of how much they're enjoying it because what I noticed was a quick beeline to Roberto Luongo as well. Right. Yep. They wanted to visit with the Hall of Fame goaltender and probably the best of the business right now in Andre Vasilevsky. Yeah, it's interesting the response Vasilevsky got. You know the response for Luongo. They're not booing, they're looing. But Vasilevsky kind of sheepishly puts his hand up. Yeah, two Stanley Cups. We, we have a good rivalry here with Tampa and Florida, two good hockey markets. And Kucherov got a similar reaction as well. So the Florida rivalry is alive and well for sure. Uh, here's the reaction to the newcomer. 
Matthew Kachuk having such a great start here. Delina Zolmark is going to be the shooter for the Atlantic, and he missed the target. A post is also worth two points, and here is Kachuk in, and a stop there by Shesterkin. I'll talk about a season again for Shesterkin as coming off the Vesna performances. He tracks the puck so well there. Let's check in with Kevin. Down here, let's we all know who this guy is, Alexander Ovechkin. First All-Star game since 2018, since the last time you won the Hardest Shot event, and this time you got Sergey with you. So how's this uh, week been for you so far? Uh, it's been great. Uh, have fun. Uh, let everyone uh, enjoy the moment, enjoy the time, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool moment. What about the Hardest Shot? You're the last forward that's won the event. No forwards won the event before you for 23 years. Do you think you can do it? Uh, I'm going to try to do my best, you know? I'll bring my uh, gold stick with me, so we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Got a feeling that Sergei Ovechkin's going to steal the show all weekend. Yeah, at some point for sure. And there was a pair of two points for both yep. the goaltenders there. As now you got the captain of the Florida Panthers with the dump in, and we'll see if it's going to be just him alone or if Linus Hallmark can get another two or three. Shosturkin has looked sharp. And here's the leader in just about every goaltending category. Linus Hallmark except shooting the puck down the ice. And Alexander Barkov's in. And Shosturkin turns him aside. Tried a little off speed, maybe trying to go five hole. He turned the stick over there on that one. Had a lot of puck movement. Watch at the end, there's a backhand flip that you're not going to get Shesterkin to open up the wickets on that one. Kind of took the trick shot yeah. approach to that one. So the fourth shot for Olmark coming up as Nick Suzuki rims it in. Well, we might have seen Shesterkin shooting tonight. Omar gets two points with that. And here comes Darlene along with Suzuki. Perhaps was Darlene in too deep. And that'll be two more points for Shesterkin. Yeah, when, when casual gets a little too casual, it can go awry. And you can see a little when he stumbled on it, Darlene, then all of a sudden trying to kick it back and no chance is. Suzuki, you know in a game, Suzuki's going to stop on the net there and probably get a chance that time. No shot on goal. So Sarah Nurse, who lit up Beijing with a record-setting performance of five goals and 18 points, sends it down. A miss here for Olmark, and so it's Sarah Nurse one-on-one -on -one against Shesterkin. And Shesterkin well out. Nurse comes in and scores! Beautiful goal for Sarah Nurse. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, what a reaction, too. It's like, yeah, it's okay. You can show your skills. Gets a high five from Dylan Larkin and from Matthew Kachuk right around, just slides it past Shesterkin. Great confidence, as you saw the two goal posts earlier. And there's some highly skilled moves and great reaction, yeah. Olympic gold medalist Sarah Nurse with a moment here at the All-Star game. Here's David. He's chained. Oh, they're chained. Oh. All right, there we go. Sarah, <laughs> uh, you went Forsberg there. Explain that one. That was great. <laughs> you know, it's funny. In uh, Toronto, we actually practice breakaways all the time. So it's funny to keep things light. I wanted to go on a 2 on 0 with Mitch, but it didn't work out. <laughs> How much fun has this weekend been for you so far? It's been awesome. Uh, it's been such an incredible weekend, obviously, being here on the beach. It's been super fun. The guys are all great. So we're just having a great time. All right, keep rolling. Thank you. Chris. Sarah, it did work out. Absolutely. I mean, look at the confidence. Had her head up the whole way, never looking at the puck. And that's not an easy task, scoring on Shesterkin. And that'll be a, a great memory out of a good weekend for her. Well, here's Ilya Sorokin. And his first shot is off target. Boy, when you got to go into New York at first, you face Shesterkin and then Sorokin or vice versa. Sid Crosby stopped by Andre Vasilevsky. 
Yeah, Vasilevsky shuts the door on Crosby there, gives him a little look back. Is again trying to open up five hole, and Vasilevsky's having nothing with it. He's got the stick down and able to make the save. So six five for the Metro over the Atlantic. Second shot for Sorokin. Seventh best in goals average and tied for second in save percentage. But off target here. You know, it's one thing that the goaltenders do. They, they spend a lot of time passing pucks up the ice, but this is so different. You're standing there, everybody watching, and you get a little bit nervous. Even the players in those kind of individual situations, it just doesn't happen. It's not anything like you experience in a game, and you can see it takes a while to get comfortable. Ovechkin against Vasilevsky. That's a pretty good head-to-head -head matchup. This time won by the big cat. Well, you see how much of the net Vasilevsky takes there, right? Eh? When you get that angle from behind uh, the shooter. Alex Carpenter sent it in. This one has a chance, but no off target. So it will be Alex Carpenter. Silver medalist in 2014 and 2022 for the United States. Bobby Carpenter's daughter misses the target. Yeah, good lineage there, and she came in, picked her spot. Saw a couple of goal posts, that one just a little bit wide as. Two more shots for Sorokin in the net. So two more shots for Ilya Sorokin. This is a great way to weave in the talented women's players. Look, he tried to take a little off of that yep. one. <laughs> That's what I mean about kind of being embarrassed. It's just sort of shoveled that one down and still wasn't able to get it. Johnny Hockey stopped by Vasilevsky. And so that's another point for the Atlantic and they now have an 8-6 lead. So the final shot for the Islanders netminder. And a Ranger will send it in. But Aaron drilled it in. <laughs> and Sorokin makes the play and tries to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> like he was going after him. <laughs> that was nowhere near the net. So here's Panarin against Vasilevsky. And Vasilevsky shuts the door. So another point for the Atlantic 9-6. So the Central Division with 13 points will win this competition with Connor Hellebuck and UC Saros in charge and victorious in the 10 tandem. Well, that's a good tandem there, isn't it? You know, Saros taking over in Nashville and doing such an amazing job. Connor, Connor Hellebuck is used to accepting the most shots. He plays more than anybody, he gets more shots than anybody. He did a good job absorbing them there. A couple of Vesna candidates to be sure. Here again is Kyle. Okay, Chris, yes, UC Soros had the big celebration, finally hitting the net. So too did Stuart Skinner, but not enough. But I think Sarah Nurse, that's the moment we will all be talking about when we reflect on the 10D tandem for years to come.